Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmazano here, back on Guitargate. Christopher Taylor hits me with a little, you won't be disappointed. Best soul shredding, Isaiah Sharkey, stay live. I saw multiple requests for this, so for everybody else on the website, uh, know that I saw your requests too. Um, I love Isaiah Sharkey. Love him. And Chris says, so much to love about this video. Tight band, killer hook, dynamic changes, modal changes, face melting, and oozing unctuous sound. You will not be disappointed. Takes a while to get to dessert, but the main course is loaded with cool things to explore. Hope you enjoy your Sonic meal. Sop me up with two biscuits. Look, I'll give you a heart. Bam. All right, let's hit the button. Oh, geez. Ten minutes. Okay, I'll try not to start and stop that much. Let's see what we get. How can this be? Baby, you're always on my mind. Get the band coming in. Every day, thoughts of endless time. Sailing, making love with you. Love the drummer. Obviously, uh, if you're watching this and you are well-versed in this kind of music, you'll know that I'm not. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I should approach explaining what's going on here, but it's so slick and so cool that like I'm trying to, I'm trying to think too hard, and the music's not letting me. It's just like, no, man, just chill out, just take it. It's it's subtle, um, and I dig it. Uh, harmonically, so far, we're in the neighborhood. Well, it's 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 A major seven up here in pattern five voicing. So you got a C sharp minor triad over A. Then you got D major seven, and so that's an F sharp minor triad over D. And then G major seven which is a B minor triad over G, okay? Now, in diatonic harmony, if you have three major chords, you have one, four, and five. And then your one and four will become major sevenths when you make them seventh chords, and your five will become dominant. So in no diatonic key are you going to have three major seven chords. And now this little lick here, this little motif that they keep coming back and building on, that's A, B, C sharp. So this makes me feel like the real vibe, the real harmonic center is gonna be that C sharp, that major third of A. That's where I'm feeling this so far. Um, this seems like a prelude. This seems like it's kind of in disguise. And this is like, it like kind of like a, just like a little, like a little extra thing. Again, you can tell that I don't do this all the time. But all this. But I'm trying to find out where did you go? Just did all you go? over, did you go? over and over. Like the harmonies, they go in. Yeah. 
That would be very cool if they are. Love these little. It's Ooh, not what was that? But you got this. Again, this makes me feel firmly in A major, okay? So, sorry, D major seven would be your four. C sharp minor seven would be your three. D minor seven would be your two. But then, what do we got here? It's not been for us to be alone. There you go. Again, this, now did he play it just like that? Is he playing? Well, he's certainly not. He's certainly not. I'm not hearing. I don't think so. It just sounds like G sharp minor seven and then over to C sharp minor seven. It's not been for us to be Dude, he's so good. These players are such next level type players of anybody I've ever like played with. Like th th this is like. You got to grow up in this stuff to feel it like this. That That's like always the key takeaway when I watch people like this. Um, and it's always just such like it. It would be such a dream to feel things like this. Um, and it flows so naturally from all of them. Um, and it's just all got that ba -da -da, A, B, C sharp, that, that, that hook. Super simple, one, two, three, that's just going to be stuck in all of our heads the rest of the day. It's so, so masterful watching an ensemble like this. the little out of nowhere like the double high hat picking it up Again, you can clearly see he's feeling this in the in 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 A, right? But I love coming in on that F sharp. It's just so slick. It, 
it's so um I don't know the word for it. I don't know the word. But I don't know, we got to move on. It's just it's just very cool to hear a melody line just come in uh on that on that 6 like that. Got that G sharp in there. So like we're 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 you know, we're hinting at E7. You know, and you got the D in there. There's your flat seven for E7. So again, I'm I'm just trying to paint the picture of of of, of from where he might be shooting. You know, and there it is. Shooting for that F sharp again. That sixth. I love it. That bass go to the five, five straight. in here um god this is gonna be such a long video if i do all this but there's just so many little things with like <sighs> these you know but like the 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 vocal quality of the lines tied into really a commitment to to focusing on your sixes and your nines right there's always there's always that little there's always that little you know in there and that that like your your, your f sharps and your b's they're, they're so prevalent in everything that he does but it doesn't stand out it's just like ooh, i'm stepping outside or it's like it's so it fits it fits the vibe perfectly Exactly, you know, we're 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 doing this like that whole thing. It it's we're focusing on that F sharp, that sixth, and just going for it for a minute. You know, F sharp minor is the relative minor of A major, right? So all these licks, like little little pieces of Hendrix you're hearing him throw in there like it's so cool it's such a it's such a I don't know I don't know how to put it into words but there there are so many things where I'm like ooh that's a little jazz line ooh that's like a little that that's that's like that's like a like, like a gospel sung melody line and then there's just like th that's just a straight up freaking you know Hendrix run you know there's so many little pieces but they all flow together seamlessly. And and I just love that it's 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 not like it's minor pentatonic or, or pentatonic versus a full scale. It's very much it's very much key centered. Um in other words, like 
it fe- like the whole time you don't feel like you're stepping away from home base to capture notes of passing chords um, like you do in jazz environments. It's very key centered like you have like you would feel like in a blues um, uh, like if you're singing it like all, like again like all these things that they're doing it, it, it keeps that it keeps that center like something you've heard before and it feels like home base. But the commitment to using the sixes and nines, as like an an everyday spice that you use and that you cook with. It just works, man. It just works. Right there. That bass, man, that bass. I hear you. Here, you know, like where he's really like thinking it's E, playing like it's E. Of course, here's your A major triad, but doing these shooting one, two, three uh, in E major, so E, F sharp, G sharp, one, two, major third, the same way you went and teased it. Now it's it hasn't moved, moved. It's still like a motif that any non-musician is gonna, it's gonna sound recognizable to them because you've just drilled it in their head the whole song. But you're you're choosing to make it E, right? You're choosing to, you know, give it that that flavor of Mixolydian. Now we haven't, we haven't, you know, added a D in there yet to, to you know, to fully, make that tritone that has to be resolved it's almost like from someone like me who comes from a country blues ish and metal background um i feel like perhaps i flat seven too much because when you do that with the third you know you create that tritone that that needs to be resolved right the flat seven becomes the major third of your one chord, right? And your major third goes up to become the root of your one chord that you're going to, five to one. Um, but what I'm not hearing in this is uh, that tritone popping up. I'm not hearing a lot of dominant sounds. I'm hear- uh, hearing a commitment to sound like the five here to accentuate the E vibe but they're distinctly staying away from the flat seven and playing sixes and nines all over the place. That's got to be part. That's got to be a part of the whole thing. I'd love to talk to players that are good at this stuff about that concept. Um, because in country blues stuff, like it, 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 there's so many. So many times when you just when you go to alter something, you just oh make it dominant, or make a hard pivot, you know, and resolve. But this keeps that floaty nature. It doesn't. I'm not hearing much of that. Again, that like I'm not hearing much of those sounds. Now watch him play it right now, though. Great drop. Thank you. 
can take it out. <laughs> Even she looked over and she was like, Shrocky, what was that note? <laughs> oh, I don't know if it was a flub or he does it like that all the time, but look at her face. So slick. Okay. Okay. That's so slick. I'm such a fan of his and that whole band. And bands like this, man, you know, it's so easy to just say, you know, church bands, like black church bands, you know, people that grow up playing in that environment. But I'll just leave it there because I don't know another way to describe it. But it's just like such a foreign thing to me. But I'm always so floored by the shared level of flow between everyone and how connected everyone is, but how free and loose it also is. I'm used to such rigid sonic environments if you will um uh the key takeaway seems to me again you know a commitment to seventh chords but not dominant sounds we're not tritoning in there and our colors are really coming from our sixes and our nines and we're not only playing them when they're a chord tone of whatever chord we're passing over but a commitment to the to that being again a regular spice in your spice collection um also not something you, you typically find in my world um what you do find in my world is it's all anchored by a very simple one two three <laughs> melody um that non-musicians are going to have stuck in their head on the way home in the car uh, that is the vehicle that makes this that makes this work. Simple, very ornate bow, simple melody, perfect groove, incredible vocals, singing incredible vocals. Um, he's such a good guitar player, and uh, God, I was gonna say something else, but there's so many things about this genre. I love it, like the bass player didn't go low and shake the room until like minute seven, right? And then did it like one or two more times and then just kind of dissipated away. Love that stuff. That's it. I don't know what else to say. But Isaiah, you know I'm a fan. Uh, everybody watching, if you dig the vibe here, you dig the live music thing, we're trying to learn something, not just make faces, please hit subscribe. Really helps me. Tell me what you think in the comments. Um, and if you'd like to pick what comes next on YouTube, um, like Chris Taylor did, um, and you want to support the channel, you do so by taking my lessons and courses. It's the first link in the description. It's called guitargate.com. It's my life's work. I'd love to have you. Um, and we go over so many of the concepts, which we just merely alluded to in here. And it's step by step. It's not shotgun approach like when you watch these videos. But these are fun. Um, and it allows us to connect and meet for the first time over tunes that we love and uh, fall in love with in real time. I love you all. Take care. Keep the guitar in your hands. I'll see you soon.